Missouri, this was such an incredible season. I am so proud of you. And I'm happy to inform you that you are our most improved team in the conference. So I think you know what that means. I do, but I want to hear you say it. Prize books! <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what to say. This is two years in a row of grades that do not represent you or the team I know you can be. You're right, you're right. I have no excuses. I think we all know I can do better. I know it, he knows it. Who? Are you serious? It's happening. Don't do it, man. Bobby P? Right to get. It's a hot seat, Hail Mary! <laughs> So I'm just gonna assume you're not gonna wear a helmet? Nope! LSU, for your amazing offensive performance all season that included a non-stop scoring machine and a Heisman Trophy for Jaden, you get the big gold star! Yes! So, prize box? Not quite, because for your defensive performance this year you get Is that? Yes. Yes, it is. Touche. Well, kind of a mixed bag this year. Uh, New Mexico State played for their conference championship? Just throwing that out there. Well, I have some concerns, Auburn. A total coaching staff overhaul after one season? Yeah, but did you see that recruiting class? I did. You saw that recruiting class? Yes, I did. That top seven recruiting class? With your own eyes? Yes, it was very impressive. I took the liberty of awarding myself. What a great season for you. 11 wins for the first time in school history. Amazing bowl win. Have you been working out? Yeah, maybe a little. Well, I can say I've noticed a huge change in you. I think you might be set up for a heck of a run next year. I'm happy to inform you that you are our most improved team in the SEC West. So for that, you get to be our school safety patrol. Is your NIO collective operating within the restraints of the NCAA? My NIO what? Get ready for the juice. I don't really know what to say. It seems like you don't even want to win at football. Yeah. Can I get my conference payout now? Same time next year? Well, this season was just a mess. I think it's time we do a reminder lesson on our spending and saving. If you have $20 and you fire a coach that costs you uh, $30, how much money do you have left? Without selling nuclear secrets to guitar. Disappointing. I think that's the only word I can think of to describe this season for you. And I think it's time we reassign you to a new seat so you can concentrate a little better. Well, needless to say, this was not the season any of us imagined or expected. You did manage to salvage your recruiting, so I think the best thing we can do is look forward to 2024 as an opportunity to bounce back. Yeah! Couldn't have said it better myself. Special delivery for my little gator man here. I saw his 2024 schedule and I had to deliver it myself. He'll be fine as soon as he stops foaming at the mouth. What do you have to say for yourself and your performance this season? Remember back in 2014 when we were the number one team in the nation? We had the DAC attack, Steven Stingray videos popping up all over Fineball. Uh, yeah? You never really know the best years of your life are happening until they're in the rearview mirror. Kind of makes you think, doesn't it? I think I'm going to schedule you an appointment with Miss Sweeney, the school counselor. Why? Can she play offensive line? Kentucky, come over here so we can discuss your grades this season. I gotta stand guard. Teams are trying left and right to steal our coach. I uh, really don't think you have to worry about that. We can come at any time. From the shadows. I think you found a great coach that works for you, but wouldn't work at other schools. The coaching carousel is spinning round and round and I'll stay here all. <sighs> this conference. I know this season still stings. You played so well and came up short at the end, but your grades are excellent and you should be very proud. Oh, well, the 
prize box is only if you win an award. We had one of the most dominating runs in all of college football, only to lose one game to El Diablo himself, and it cost us a three-peat. So I'm going to the prize box. I guess we came back down to earth this season, but still a year and a performance to be proud of. That 2024 schedule is looking manageable, and Tennessee, are you even paying attention to me? Shh, I'm watching our basketball game. Tennessee, put the phone away. Does this classroom have a defibrillator? Yes, why? Did you not just hear me say I'm watching our basketball game? Losing in overtime is so hard and I know that still hurts, but you have so much to be proud of this year. You battled back against adversity to make this season so fun. Now, go on out to the playground and go play. Oh, wait, you forgot your... This episode is brought to you by Renaissance, the bank that understands you. 